Alrighty guys, in today's video in TrueCut already works, we're going to be looking at your device settings under the laser work panel. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the laser work panel, and uh, this should be the last video for the series. So uh, thank you guys for joining. And if you are new, you can always head back in the description if you want to go to previous videos. Otherwise, if we, um, yeah, also just one last thing. If you are new, if you want to, if you don't see your laser work panel, you can always go to your main menu on top, view and process control panel. Sorry, process control bar, and then you can toggle the visibility there. Now, the last setting here is the devices, which will be located right on the bottom. Now, from the drop down menu here, by default, we have um, USB auto. So, this will automatically try to see which USB is connected and so forth. Now, what you can do is you can go to settings. Let's say you've got more devices you want to add. Then from the list here, we can see already what we have active, which is the USB auto. And then what we can do at the bottom, we have a few options here. So first of all, we've got add. So then you can add a new device. You can call it whatever you want. Test. Then you can choose next. Do you want it to be USB or web? So if it's USB, you can go yes, select the right com. And then you can always test it here on the right if you're not sure if it is the right one until you find the right one. You can also go web, so if you have a cutter maybe set up over the network or something on that line, then you can um, type in the IP, test it to make sure it's working, and finally when you're happy, you just click OK. You can cancel for now. And then uh, there are something to keep in mind. Most features within the program requires a device connected in order for it to work correctly. So if you're getting certain areas like I do, that is because you do not have currently have a device um, connected now what you can also do is like let's say you um, want to make changes to a device you can always go to your modify button at the bottom click that and then it will pop up the option so you can set it but you will see it comes by default with a device called auto and this one you cannot actually change which is a, it's a very handy one it's a bit like plug and play you can say so i definitely recommend don't delete that one i'm not sure if you can but i don't want to try <laughs> And then let's say you've set up a device or, and you're no longer using it or you set it up wrong and you probably just want to create a new one then you can always just select it and then um, click the delete then after you have set up your device your new device before you go to cut you can or start your cut you can always go here under the drop down menu select the new device and then start your cut so you can also have multiple devices enabled maybe for different um, cutting purposes maybe you've got a small one big one and so forth otherwise yeah that covers the device settings under the laser works panel and just once again thanks guys for joining me on this little mini series and then if we have to head here to software training.co.za you guys on that we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right and if you do not find what you're looking for just go here request a training video Fill in the mini form, then we will make that video for you. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.